Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna talk about an issue into the MacBook. So there had been some questions coming up to me that they said that uh, we get some shock into the new MacBook. So there's some slight shock, tingling issues into the MacBooks. So they asked me like whether it's an issue with the MacBooks or is it normal? So first thing first, guys. So do not worry about it. So firstly, because all the MacBooks are made with aluminum chassis and these are aluminum bodies. So they do conduct electricity. And the problem is not with the MacBooks, is with the charger. So the charger that we get in, with the MacBooks is in two pin adapter. So if you open this up, and if I just try to show this to you, so you can see that over here we have got three ports. So this is a completely ground system. So this actually is used to provide ground support so for example so whenever you're charging it up so this actually tries to maintain a grounded connection to your macbooks but if you look into the adapter that we have this two pin adapters there is only a two pin circuit over here and this two pin circuits actually do not ground your adapter and that's the reason you get some tingling shocks that can be said as a static shock so that very small amount of shock but yeah we do feel that sometimes when the macbook is charging so the problem is actually with the adapter and the two pin adapter specifically that apple provides we do not know why they have removed three pin adapters from the macbook box because passed into the wild they used to provide us some cables like these so these are actually three pin adapters so if you use these kind of three pin adapters you can avoid the shocks in your macbooks and if we just have a look here into this cable we can see that inside of this we have got a connection that provides a cable connection to the ground so these kind of cables can actually provide you a completely grounded connection for your macbooks and if you use this these are really amazing so you just need to push this in and that's done so you need to use these kind of adapters or extension cables now which has to be bought separately by the way so you, you can buy this from apple website or else you can also get some uh, travel adapter kit that is that cost you around thirty dollars so these are cheap but yeah they actually requires one something to be bought and some extra expenses over here we do not specifically know that why apple has removed these kind of three pin adapters because these were really useful to provide a grounded system to your macbooks and now we do not get them and we need to purchase them separately so purchasing them separately just tries to burden up with a little bit more extra cost but yeah if you have such kind of an issues if you are getting some shocks into the macbooks some small little shocks if you have faced it ever so you can just go up with this option and there is no issue with your macbook to be very clear so do not worry about it you just need to replace your adapter the two pin adapter to and three pin adapter and it, everything will be completely fine so guys this had been a complete update about this topic and if you've got any more questions any more doubts please leave that down in the comment section below we'll be happy to help you and if you liked our video please hit that like button subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye